Hey guys! I haven't actually started my one little word project for the year. I do have a word um, and I haven't been into the classroom yet but I just wanted to show you how I was setting up the album that I'm going to use for this year. So this is a life crafted album from Citrus Twist. So basically a life crafted album is the same size as a traveler's notebook but obviously in album form which means I can use page protectors, I can add in pages as I want to or need them so I'm not going to run into the problems that I've had the last couple of years with um, having not enough pages or having too many pages. Uh, this is going to solve all of those problems uh, plus it means I'm going to be able to just be a bit more flexible with the types of pages that I put in there. The Life Crafted albums come in a few different colours and I had this really pretty mustardy yellow one sitting here that I haven't used in 2019. Uh, so I decided it would be perfect but I didn't really want the yellow colour. I just wanted something that was going to be a little bit more uh, me, <laughs> a little bit easier to work in with the varying colour schemes that I'm going to use this year um, and just something a bit softer. So what I decided to do was to have a go at painting it. So I grabbed some set color opaque fabric paint from Peebo. Uh, the color is called, I can't remember, sorry, Portrait Pink is the color. And it comes off a little bit more peachy on camera here than it is in real life. It is a really soft sort of baby pink color, which I really love. And it actually worked really well. Um, this is a super boring process to watch, so I'm definitely not going to make you watch the whole thing. But effectively, I just flipped the album open, I put some um, scrap paper down on my desk and then just started painting. I've painted around all of the hardware and then just used a larger brush to fill in those uh, bigger areas and a really light coat is best so more light coats work better than um, a big heavy thick coat. You can see as it dries it's a little bit patchy um, but I only needed to do two coats to cover this album completely so I did all of the front like this and then I let that dry completely um, overnight and then I flipped the album up the other way. You'll see that in just a second. And I very carefully did the inside little pieces of the album. You probably don't need to do that. You could have the contrasting color on the inside if you want to, um, but I really wanted the entire thing to be covered. So it doesn't take very long. I did just wait a little bit of time for those um, coats to dry in between. And again, before I started the second coat, so I basically just repeated that entire process again with another really light coat, I did just make sure everything was super dry in between. Um, the fabric paint works great, I think. Um, it does just feel a tiny bit sort of tacky until it fully dries, which did take a couple of days. Um, and I suspect that's because my second coat was probably a little bit thicker than it should have been. I should have just stuck to my guns and done a really light coat. But you can see here that once you put the second coat on it, it is nice and opaque. You definitely don't see any of that color underneath. To fully cure the paint, I did pop the entire album into a low oven. I followed the manufacturer's directions for that. It's only for a very short amount of time. It just sets the paint and makes sure everything is fully permanent. And there's my little album all done. Then I spent a bit of time on my cameo and I created these rainbow tabs. So there's 12 tabs, one for each um, month of the year. And if you happen to be using a Life Crafted album, um, I will leave a link in the description box for the silhouette file that I use to create those um, dividers. It just takes a little bit of time. You can do them all in one color or in a rainbow color like I did. Um, but it's a super easy way to divide that album. And the last thing I wanted to do to prep for my album was to create a charm for the spine. And I am going to um, use these little alpha charms to spell out my word for the year, which is space. So to create this charm, I've just got some gold chain and I attached a jump ring to one end so that I can hook that around one of the rings of the binder. And then I'm just pulling that down the spine to measure sort of how long I want it to be. And then I can go ahead and trim that chain. I'm just using the letters to sort of work out where I want to put it. I couldn't decide whether I wanted the letters to go beside the little book plate or underneath it. And eventually I decided underneath. 
teeth so that's why I wanted to test out the length of the chain before I actually cut it once I know where everything is going to go I can cut the chain and then I'm just going to attach each of those letters to the chain with another one of those jump rings in the correct order so that when it's hanging it spells out space I decided on the word space uh, probably I'm gonna say late October in 2019 I was out for a walk with Lily and it just seemed it seemed super appropriate and the more I thought about it um, about the things that were happening in 2019 and and how I was feeling and how I wanted to feel um, space just really resonated with me so I came home and I did a little bit of brainstorming about it before I really settled on it and um, I feel really happy. I think it's going to be a really a really good word this year. Um, hopefully, hopefully I just can stick with it <laughs> um, a bit better than I did last year and that will be all good. I would love to know whether you are doing one little word yourself and whether that's through the actual classroom or whether you're just doing it on your own and what word you've chosen for 2020. I think it's so fun hearing other people talk about their words. So for now, this is my album all prepped. Don't forget to grab that cut file if you're also using a life crafted album. I will leave the link down below. Otherwise, I'm gonna go and check out the classroom and I will share my January prompt with you very soon. Let me know if you've got any questions. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you again really soon. Bye.